Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Tyler Camille and today I'm going to be sharing the story about how God completely changed my life. About a year and a half ago I made the decision to give my life to God and it has been the most beautiful, the most wild story that I could ever tell. I just want you to know that God loves you and that he cares about you and that it doesn't matter how far you've gone, you can always come back home and he will welcome you with open arms just like he did to me. My whole life has changed for the better and it has not all been peaches and roses. I really do not want to make the impression that giving life to God means that everything is just going to be amazing from then on, but to know that God will be with you you through your storms it makes everything so much better I'm just so grateful that God saved me he saved me from myself he saved me from a life that was void of purpose God is love he wants to give you peace he wants to give you joy he wants to give you love he wants to bring fulfillment into your life I am living proof of what the mercy of God can do and I had no idea that everything that I was looking for is found in a relationship with God I remember feeling like I didn't really belong anywhere. I was searching for love. I was searching for fulfillment and all of the wrong things. I was searching for peace and substances and it just always depleted. And I was just like, okay, there's got to be more to life. And that more to life is found in God. And I'm just so grateful. Let's get into my background. I'm 20 years old. My mom is from Trinidad and Tobago and my dad is from St. Vincent. And I grew up in Baytown, Texas, which is a very small town, about 45 minutes east of Houston, Texas. Pretty much my whole life revolved around church and school. I was just raised in a very Christian household. I went to church every single Sabbath. I'm Seventh-day Adventist. I grew up having a religion standpoint of who God was but I never really had a personal relationship with God and I feel like that's what really made all of the difference so I would do all the right things you know I'm showing up to church I was in the praise team I was in the choir I went to a Christian school but none of that really made me a Christian which is what I'm realizing now I always thought of God as like a strict judge I didn't really know why I couldn't do certain things I didn't know why my parents forced me to go to church whenever I really wanted to just hang out with my friends and do what they were doing I never knew why I was set apart I grew up searching for more like I thought that I was just being sheltered from things and I thought that I would find fulfillment in things that were of the world as I started to grow older my parents got a little less strict with me. I wouldn't even say that my parents got less strict with me, but I just got more creative. I never really had that desire for things of God. I went to a very small school from first grade to 10th grade. It lacked diversity and me and my sister were like the only black girls in like this entire school, pretty much. And so as you can imagine, that did wonders on my self-esteem. I grew up very insecure. I was just trying to mold myself into a version that I thought would be accepted by other people. I lived a double life. I knew all the right things to do in order to just stay under the radar pretty much. And thinking that as long as I stay under the radar of like my parents that I'm pretty much staying under the radar of God too. Not knowing that. He knew exactly what I was doing. I could hide from my parents but I couldn't really hide from God. After giving my life to God, I became integrated into one Tyla. There's no version of me at school and one version of me at church now like it's just all one person and I'm so grateful for that as I started to grow older I just went crazy all the things that I wanted to do so badly as a kid now I have the freedom to do them and I'm gonna get everything I ever wanted I'm gonna get that fulfillment that I thought I'm gonna find I just thought that everything that I had been searching for and longing for were in boys, were in parties, were in substances, and it all just left me feeling so empty. Honestly, more empty than where I started, and I was just like, okay, something has got to change. I was introduced to weed for the first time. I was like 14, 15, but I was never really a smoker until COVID hit. I thought that in order to feel peace, I needed to be high. I thought that in order to be happy, I 
needed to be high i thought that in order to enjoy life i needed to be high and it was just really really bad through smoking weed i really just began to disconnect from reality my whole life i was also searching for validation from other people but especially boys so i started to fill my life with just like little bits and pieces of like attention and love from here and there i just had a very skewed idea of what love was and i thought that somebody wanting to have sex with me equated to somebody loving me and that is so false and at this point i had been just jumping from situationship to situationship i wasn't taking no time to heal from these relationships that actually left me more broken than where i started just trying to fill this void within me like this deep longing for love this deep longing for attention and validation i didn't know where to find it and so i looked for it in these little relationships even though they were not giving what i thought it was supposed to give it was something and i felt like something was better than nothing but now i know that i would rather have no man than to have half of a man and the things that i thought were supposed to bring me the most freedom actually put me into more bondage and so i was just like god what is going on Oh, deep down inside i knew for a fact that this is not how my life is meant to go i have got to figure out who tyler is i had went home after sophomore year had ended for like four weeks during this break i had spent a lot of time with my dog i spent a lot of time in nature by myself and i was like you know what i'm gonna start reading my bible again i'm gonna start reading my devotionals again and i wasn't extremely consistent to begin with but i had this deep desire to just figure out who i was i just felt like i had gone so far off my path that i had lost myself i just remember like crying to my mom i was like mom like i literally feel like i have no purpose i feel like i was alive but i wasn't really living there's gotta be more and my mom is a very spiritual woman she's a woman of god and she was just speaking life into me she was just like okay well pray about it and just ask god and i was just like pray about it what's that gonna do for me that was in december of 2021 but skip forward to May of 2022 I was like okay I'm gonna give this whole praying thing a shot I'm gonna give this whole God thing a shot again because me trying to figure everything out on my own had only left me even more confused than I was to begin with so I came to the end of myself and I was just like okay I'm gonna go back to my roots like I grew up in church so let me start there like let me figure out what's going on with me before I try to get into another relationship so my internship started I was working at Howard in the biology department and it was just really boring it definitely wasn't a waste of my time but it definitely told me that biology is not for me and it also taught me that god is so intricate even with the tiniest of organisms like, i just really started to develop a deeper appreciation for nature and for creation and so i started to spend more time in nature after work was over i started to go to like different nature spots and just go for walks at the same time i was really on my journey to becoming a better self or just trying to figure out who i was i started to just deepen my relationship with god i'm writing down my prayers a lot i'm journaling a lot um so fast forward to the beginning of my junior year it was just me and god because this is the first time in my life where i was like actually single for real for real god like put me into an isolation season where i was learning more about myself i was healing from things i didn't even know needed to be healed from i was going to therapy i was working through a lot of my issues and just seeing god's hand work in my life ever since i was a little girl i was really getting deeper into my faith and just figuring out who i am in christ apart from boys apart from partying apart from these friends who were like very superficial i started to really get on fire for the lord going to church and just figuring out my bible and how to study it and all these things like it was just a very amazing and influential time of my life during this phase i was just unlearning so many things that were not serving my best interests. I was learning how to be more like Christ. I was really learning how to be there for myself and how to be validated from Christ rather than seeking validation from these boys. I was learning how to really just stand firm in my boundaries and to be okay with not fitting in because for so long in my life I had really felt like I was just operating out of a place of wanting validation but for the first time I had felt like my validation was set in Christ and I didn't have to do too much to be accepted like i was already accepted i was already loved like god had already given me 
everything that I had needed so that everything that someone else could give me would simply just be an addition to my life. Before I had God in my life, like, there was just this void in my life that I was trying to fill with all the wrong things. Only Jesus can fill that void. No amount of money, no amount of followers, no amount of likes, no amount of fame, no amount of success, no amount of friends, no amount of relationships can ever fill the void that only Jesus can fill. And he gave me that love that I was searching for my whole life. He gave me that validation that I was looking for in other people, in Instagram posts, in relationships. He gave me that validation. He told me who I was. I was settling because I didn't know what I was truly worth. And God reminded me that I am his daughter and that I am precious in his eyes and that he loved me so much that he sent his son to die on the cross for me. Like, that is real love. And what I was settling for in my past cannot ever compare to the love that I have now in Christ. All the times that I was crying to my mom and saying how I don't know what my purpose is, I finally found my purpose in Christ and he put me on the right path and now I don't have to figure everything out on my own. Like, I'm just allowed to just be and to do the work but I feel like I am just in the passenger seat of my life. Like, God is driving the car, I'm just simply here along for the journey. Through falling in love with God, I also fell in love with creation. I fell in love with myself. During this time, I also started my wellness journey and I realized that I needed to treat my body with the uttermost respect and love. I'm not just gonna eat anything. I'm not just gonna listen to anything. I'm not just gonna be anywhere. I just have more respect for not only myself, but also who created me. So I guess this season of my life is just me figuring out how to be in the world, but not of it. How to be on the narrow path rather than the broad path and really just making sure that my calling and election is sure. God is on my side and he will never leave or forsake me. He is loyal. He cares about me. He loves me so deeply. I am his daughter. And through that relationship, I have all that I need. Things are not always going to be perfect, but I know that God has a plan for my life. And that if I just trust him, then he will do the rest. He's just so amazing. And I just wish that everyone who watches this video will know that God loves you, that God cares for you, that God sent his son to die for you. You personally, like, if God can come into my life and change it in the way that he has done, he can do it for you too. If you're struggling with trying to find your identity, if you're trying to fill this void with all the wrong things, just know that God has not given up on you and that it doesn't matter how far you have gone off your path. He's still there and he's there waiting for you with open arms. I thought that God would be mad at me. I thought that God would like not accept me back because I had just denied him for so long, but he filled the void in my life that I had been trying to fill by myself with all of the wrong things. Through God, I have found joy. I have found peace. I have found true fulfillment. I have figured out who I am, not because of how other people view me, but because of how God views me. I'm not gonna lie and say that this walk has been easy, but it has been so worth it. Growing up, I was just so unaware of what I brought to a room to other people. I was just so unaware of my worth. I was so unaware of who God had called me to be. But now that I have God, I have just received this next level confidence that is not rooted in how I look or if my hair is done or if my nails are done or if my makeup is done. It's like a deep sense of knowing that God is with me always and that I don't have to be afraid. God does not expect us to be perfect. He chose us to spy our imperfections. I've just been finding a deep sense of peace and just knowing that I am on the right path because I have God in my life now. I know for a fact that my life is in God's hands. Everything that has happened in my life, all the good parts, all the bad parts has led me to be in this exact moment right now. And so whenever I look at my past self, I don't want to cast judgment on her. I don't want to say, oh, that's so cringe. That version of myself was just really broken and really insecure. And honestly, what she needed was the Lord, but she found it. She found God. Rather, God found her. And she is so much better now. God is good. He is the epitome of love. And to have a relationship with love, it has changed my perspective on life.
entirely. My negative thought patterns, me thinking that I'm not good enough, me thinking that I'm not worthy of receiving real love, me settling for the bare minimum, like all of that has just changed because God has set the standard in my life. And I'm not going to settle for anything less than the best because God is the best thing that could ever happen to me. And so I know that as long as I'm obedient to him and I stay on the path that he has already set for me, that I will be okay. That I don't have to worry. I don't have to try to change myself to fit in somewhere that I'm not meant to be. I've never been this happy before. I've never had this much peace before. I've never been this well organized before, I've put together. My whole life has changed and it's because of God in my life. It's not because of anything that I've done. It's not because of any self-help book that I've read. It's not because of anything that I could ever buy or study or whatever like everything that I've been searching for my whole life I found it in God and I am just so grateful that he loves me that he doesn't change even though I change all the time he is a constant God and my relationship with him now is the strongest that's ever been. I feel like a brand new person, like he's really molded me into a completely different person that other people can see as well. This transformation that I have had, it was because of God's presence in my life. If God can do it for me, he can and he will do it for you too if you allow him to, if you surrender your all to him. If you start making him a priority in your life, he will change your life for the better. You will never regret giving your life to the Lord. All the things that I have lost have been worth it. It was not easy to give up certain things, but God gives me the strength to keep going. And he keeps on reminding me that he cares about me so deeply and that he wants the best for me, that he has the perfect plan for my life. I got baptized in February. And that was an amazing experience. When something really good happens to you, you don't just keep it to yourself. That's selfish. You want to share it with the whole world. You want to tell everybody that you meet. And for me, that has been God. The way that he has healed me and transformed me and given me so much love and so much joy and so much peace and so much self-control. The list goes on and on, but... All of those things are blessings from the Lord and I'm just so grateful to be a recipient of them. Giving my life to God has been the best decision that I've ever made and I am just so grateful that he did not turn his back on me even though I spent my whole life prior to this chasing after the wrong things. Jesus is my first love. God is my first love and he has truly set the standard. And so I will no longer be settling for the bare minimum because God has shown me that I am worth more than rubies. Literally like read Proverbs 31 like, girl. God cares about you so much and he loves you so much. And the best thing that you can ever do for yourself is to find out more about who God is and to build a personal relationship with him. And God loves you even more than I could ever love you, even more than a boyfriend or a girlfriend could ever love you. God will always reign supreme over any other relationship that you have with another human being. Like, you are worth more than Ruby, so stop settling for less than what you deserve. Figure out who you are before you try to figure that out in another person. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I love you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great rest of your day.